from the Ford Sports Desk, KOMU 8 Sports. A little more than a month remains for the Missouri Tigers to improve their tournament odds. After a big road win over Alabama on Wednesday, the Tigers would face another tall task hosting the number 21 Kentucky Wildcats, a conference foe they have not beat since joining the SEC. A rocking atmosphere at Mizzou Arena today. Fans booing former target Kevin Knox. First quarter, Cassius Robertson finds Jonte Porter open, looking for the three, and he converts the Tigers. Shot 30% outside the arc today. Late in the first half, things get a little dicey. Jared Vanderbilt and George Geis get tangled up under the rim. Both assess technical fouls, but Vanderbilt also given a flag ran Coach Calpari. Not a happy camper for that one. But some great defense from Mizzou in the first half. They hold Kentucky to just 18 points. And it's a season low for them, an all-time low under Cal Parry for the first half. But the Wildcats make an early push in the second half. Shy Gilgis Alexander with the easy layup. Kentucky moved within one point a few times, but Mizzou doesn't mess around any longer. Cassius Robertson finds Porter, who knocks down the three. And in the same sequence, next possession, Kevin Knox turns over the ball. Porter finds it and is going to take it the distance, coast to coast. Right after that, Knox keeps having some troubles on the defensive side. A highly contested three as well. Stillman picks up the rebound. He feeds it to Robertson, and he's going to find Jordan Barnett wide open. He absolutely drills his three. Barnett steals the show in the second half. Another three here, and he's going to finish with 16 points. The Tigers win their first game over Kentucky, 69-60, and move back to 500 conference play. After the game, Conza Martin and Jordan Barnett spoke on the victory. It's a great feeling. I think it's good for our guys. Um, because, again, there have been some tough years. Great win for our program, for the university, uh, for the state of Missouri. I just think it's, it's a fun game to be a part of. I'm not treating this one any different just because of the name on the jersey. You know, it's every time we win, it means a lot. We just came out, we competed, we defended really well, um, held them to 18 in the first half. So, um, you know, just our level of competitiveness has gone up a whole lot, and I think it's showing on the court. Also this afternoon, the Columbia College men's basketball team played host to Williams Baptist College Eagles. The third ring Cougars were coming off just their second loss of the season on Thursday. The final was very big, a decisive minute for the Cougars today. After missing the first three free throw of the game, Jackson Dubinsky would hit the second to give the Cougars a three-point lead with less than 30 seconds to go. Williams Baptist would need a three-pointer to tie the game. Dubinsky almost comes up with a steal, but Brian Anthony regains his dribble, drives it and dishes it to Devontae Carolina. He knocks it down for the tied game. Carolina has 23 points. So in this same action, the Cougars do not call a timeout. And after almost losing the ball, Dubinsky finds Nick Reynolds. He drives it to the basket and floats it over the defender to put the Cougars up front. The Eagles have a last-ditch effort coming up and a long shot from the back, but... It's no good. That's about as close as you can get in the game. The third ranked Cougars hold off Williams Baptist 89 87, and Columbia men improved to 22 and 2. Also, a big day for the men of Central Methodist. Second game of the back to back with the woman playing earlier. It would be senior guard Brian Egujaru leading the Eagles, getting the bucket off the drive there, and then he drives it to Bo Burkhart for the three. Central Valley gets right into this one. They get it over to Beckley. Open Neek inside for the slam, but Agujaru was too good. He finishes with some nice English on this bucket. He'd have 38 points and five assists on the night. Central Methodist wins in overtime, 90 to 82. Coach Jeff Sherman's 600 victory at CMU. Women's Hoops also in action tonight. Number 10 Columbia College defeated the Williams Baptist, 90, 78 to 61. Number 12 Central Methodist defeats Missouri, 90 to 82. We'll have high school basketball highlights coming up tonight at 10. And that's sports.